uh, I'm here at the residence of Ammar Yasser. Uh, Ammar is basically a professional uh, videographer, photographer, a multimedia guy. But there is another thing about him that makes him really special and that is that he is a 3D printing hobbyist. I mean he does 3D printing just for his own pleasure and today I have the honor of being hosted by him at his home so that he can show us his equipment and some of the productions that he has done. Hi guys. Guys with me Amar Yasser. Amar thank you very much for hosting us today at your house. Uh, Amar what got you into 3D printing? Because I am uh, from media background and I used to design in 3D also. So when I heard about this 3D technology that you can uh, print like any printer and have a physical uh, thing from your imagine, imagination. So it was, it struck me f uh, at once and I tried to find the 3D printer here, but there was nothing there. So I had to order it from Amazon. So, and, uh, okay. And uh, basically the uh, machine, can you please show us the machine that you're talking about, which you got from Amazon for 3D yeah. printing? This is my first M printer. This is from Reality. This is Ender 3, Ender 2, this one, sorry. And this is a small 150 by 150 mm uh, print size here. Yeah. Okay. And this was my first one. So I, whatever I learned the 3D printing from this print. Right. I modified it myself. I learned uh, from net what we can uh, improve, how we can improve it. And then this one is my second printer, which is Ender 3. This enclosure I made myself. Right. So I can print more. Uh, higher uh, temperature uh, prints from here and it's very nice machine even this one i modified myself you can see this here i print i designed this myself also okay yeah. that's awesome uh amar i see on your uh, table that you seem to be quite interested in terminator uh, marvel star wars and anime as well so can you take us through these models i mean what got you inspired and uh, I mean like what's the sort of material that you've used to create these 3D uh, models and is the paint, uh, I mean were they printed in color or did you color them separately? What was the case? Okay, because I'm AG's boy. Okay. okay. I saw my first film uh, Star Wars. Okay. okay. I was inspired by, that's why I came to media actually. Because of Star Wars? Yeah. So, so Amar, I see, I mean, you're quite interested in Star Wars. You have done few of their work. I see, correct me if I'm wrong, Baby Yoda over there. And uh, there is something quite interesting in your hand, which I'm going to show to my audience a bit later. And then you have Terminator, you have uh, Marvel Spider-Man, you have Lara Croft, you even have Groot and uh, Alita from Anime World. I mean, what's your inspiration? Why, why did you create these? Okay, first of all, who is not inspired by Star Wars? Okay, I it was, was my first film that I watched on the in theater in Pakistan, so it was stuck in my head. Mind. Yeah, okay, mind. Head. Okay, that's why I came in field also. It was because of Star Wars. Yeah, wow. Star Wars. And I never miss a Star Wars movie or cartoon anything. Okay. So uh, as as I, I got this this printer, this was. One of my first pr uh, prints is the Millennium Falcon from there. This is your first print? Yeah, one of my first prints. Right. Okay, and uh, this was the small, this is a small one. I'm planning to make a big one also. And this is all made of, uh, pr it's printed plastic. in plastic, yeah, huh? Yeah, this is plastic. It's usually pr printed in layers, so you cannot, but it's so uh, thin layer that you cannot see, you only see these right. uh, bigger details. Okay. So, uh, this, right. Yeah. There, did you paint this or this no, is... This is, this is uh, not painted. This right. is as it is. And it's, it's beautiful as it is. You can see. Yeah, beautiful. Like no doubt. No doubt. It's a thing of beauty. Okay. Can you please take us through your other prints, uh, that uh, the ones that we see over here on the table? Okay. This was the, my first, uh, one of my first. And right. this is the Groot. And this when when the movie was released, then I saw this one. Uh, it was available. This model was available on net also free. So, right. I immediately downloaded it and... and and uh, I was inspired so much for the film and the effects that I printed it and then painted it myself because this was also. Printed. May I see? Yeah. 
this is this was printed as the same color this uh, this is the same material this is white color okay but then i painted it uh, to give the effect of the wood it okay i need to ask you a question i might sound a bit simplistic but this feels like wood i mean did you print this in wood or what's the case no 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 it's not wood this is same material as this one you see this is classic also white print right and and if you see the down you see you can see the downside this is the white main plastic yeah, okay plastic. and i used poster colors which are, which are, was available on my in my home right now right so i just used them to give the effect of the wood i but, see yeah is there a special paint for 3d models not a uh, special paint for 3d models but you can use the same uh, paints that you use for model uh, making you know this is uh, which is already in the market right like model cars and aeroplanes the right. same paints you can use it and it will give a much better effect because the variety of that paint is uh, more uh, uh, very, uh, you know yeah. guys honestly i mean uh, if any one of you was here when you pick this item up it doesn't feel like it's made of plastic it's print it seems like it's made of wood uh, and despite the fact that like amar said he used poster colors imagine if he used the uh, you know paints that are exclusively for models uh, die cast models or otherwise the result would be even more amazing but i love this i love this group okay and now the same situation is for uh, this terminator yeah this terminator was painted in many parts one part was this a uh, lower torso yeah, okay lower torso i put also separate the arms are separate gun was separate i'd like to show my viewers uh, the detail over here yeah. for the metallic arm just look at the attention to detail actually this the paint of for uh, this metallic thing is yeah. the normal marker which is the silver marker is available on the market ah it's and not it's not a paint at all yeah, you use the simple marker yeah i didn't i didn't uh, buy specially anything uh -huh. uh, for painting for this this is whatever what uh, was available for, with from my nakeds the poster paints and the markers i use them just to to finish it as soon as possible because i love this one so okay this one is your personally the most favorite yeah, yeah. after the millennium falcon that's of right, course that's right. because guys if any one of you is a star wars fan you might want to get connected with amar he is on instagram this thing yeah see this is uh, the head for the terminator t800 uh, and of course this was uh, is this is also i downloaded from the net it's available free mm -hmm. and you can uh, you can print it as big as your printer can allow so this i made this took about 6 hours to print 6 hours yeah 6 hours to print this one okay guys this is not so big from a distance and even if you look at it closely it looks like as if it's printed in metal but it's light okay yeah. and i want to print one big one also but uh, the problem is that i don't have much time staying on my printer to see that the print is going fine it will take at least one day or one and a half day to print a uh, full size uh, life a size full head. life size yeah. bust yeah. okay right That's right cool. okay so then we have uh, baby yoda yeah this was from mandalorian mandalorian yeah. series okay and uh, see these the the three things are so much uh, available on on the net that whenever if uh, something like this comes on the television mm -hmm. as soon as they see it is popular you can mm -hmm. find them on the net and this was the first one that i found it and i just downloaded it and printed it and painted it and i and printed it two of them actually the other one is this one yeah, which is a one. work in progress yeah this one this one is the, the full size yoda okay. it had some problem here right but i'm going to print it again maybe uh, this is uh, not good uh, from here right but right. Uh, the finishing is not good but i'm going to fix this one uh -huh. i'm going to print again and it will be much better okay and then you have this uh, spider man yeah this is for my son but he loves uh, Spider-Man games and Spider-Man movies so I I printed this this is also of course free all of them you can see here mm -hmm. are free uh, downloaded from the net so basically the, the 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 3D diagrams are freely available on the net right. you just download them and then you start working on them yes. once the soft uh, software or the illustration file or the 3D illustration yes. file is done you then print them on yeah, your 3D it's like a CAD file on the net yeah okay in 3D ah, autocad yeah. file something like that yeah. Okay and then guys uh, for those who are into anime a uh, good news for you 
Amar also likes anime, so sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. yeah. So I, when I saw Alita film, which was very nice, I'm mm. waiting for part two of it. Mm. And I saw this one. This was the first print that was available on the net. Right. I downloaded it, so of course, in parts also. Right. So the down boots are uh, separate, the door doors are separate, and it's about six parts here. Okay. And then I painted it. Amar, you mentioned that you are a kid from the 80s, mm -hmm. like me. Okay, we, I think both of us are generation, last of the generation X. That's right. Okay. You're not into Grandizer? Yeah, yeah, I, I was uh, in early 80s, we were here on vacation. Mm -hmm. I was studying, we were studying in the school in Pakistan and everybody. Anyway, because Grandizer never, they didn't show it in Pakistan. Right, when right. When we came here, it was all the time on television, so we saw it, yeah. So we should expect a Grandizer 3D model coming in yes, soon. My, on my kids are a fan of Grandizer actually. Amazing. I, I, I search for it and it's available. Yeah. But I am not that enthusiastic about Grandizer, but my kids are, so I'm going to print it soon. Okay. Amar, thank you very much for giving us a brief tour about and uh, telling us about your hobby. It's, uh, it's a good news for geeks like us who are into these sort of properties and stuff. And we look forward to you producing more and more work, inshallah. Sanam, thank you, Sanam Chanda. Huh. That you came to me and you search, uh, you ask about these things. And I want to uh, ask people to look into 3D printing. It's very cheap now, this kind of uh, technology. And you can just buy it, and it's, it's very fun to use this thing. In case if any one of you doesn't want to take this as a hobby on your own, uh, feel free to get in touch with Ammar, uh, his uh, Instagram account, the link to it, I'm uh, sharing it, it's going to be below, on the screen below. Uh, feel free to get in touch with him, as I've said, I admire his attention to detail. Uh, furthermore, uh, like many of us geeks around here, he's a huge Star Wars fan, he loves anime, he's into Grandizer, and he's into other sort of stuff. So he's a guy who can understand what your passion is all about. And I'm so glad to find that uh, whatever I'm finding in the west of side of Jeddah, I'm also finding it on the east side. We have Figures Master in the west side who is also doing 3D printing for his own uh, hobby. And then we have Ammar. Hope you guys like this vlog. Make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends who are into this sort of stuff. Thank you very much.